violating a restraining order. Comment below, let us know what you think regarding the subject matter at hand. Let's see here. Mariano Rosales asks, due to uh, a case of domestic violence, my wife had a restraining order against me. My son called me one day crying, wanting to see me. I had a few beers at home and when I arrived, my five-year-old son said that his mom had hit him. At the moment, the police arrived and when they found me there, I was arrested. Yes. The reason is because if you are there in a place that you do not have the right to be at because there is a restraining order against you, that's a violation of California Penal Code Section 166A. It's a misdemeanor that carries up to one year in county jail. Plus, the judge isn't going to be too happy about you violating his order. Now, there is a rare exception where you can flat out ignore this order, and that is if you're trying to protect yourself or if you are protecting the life of somebody else. For instance, if your child, if you had reason to believe that your child was in the process of suffering great bodily injury or death and you didn't have time to appear, uh, the, you know, you wouldn't have time to call 911. In that circumstance, in that circumstance, um, you would have the right to violate the order. Remember, you always have the right to break the law if you are about to suffer great bodily injury or death, but it has to be imminent. If you or somebody else is about to suffer great bodily injury or death, and if it's imminent, if it's about to happen, then you would have the right to break the law. That would be a an, an affirmative defense. However, if you know you're just you know you know a couple of miles away, you could have easily called 911 if you thought your child's life was in danger then that would be considered the reasonable thing to do and you know if your life if your son was just crying and you just felt bad to go there that would not be a legal excuse the best argument to make here to try to weasel you out of it is to say you reasonably believe that your son's life was in danger or that he was in danger of suffering great bodily injury obviously if he was really hurt if his mom really hit him a lot and he had bruises all over the place cuts well then yeah that would definitely be justification for breaking the the order regardless if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense in the san francisco bay area don't forget to subscribe to our channel law offices of cross and associates and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you but if you've been accused of a crime here in the san francisco bay area and need representation call us now for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677 on our next video we're going to be discussing domestic violence after posting images of intimate photos have a good day